Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is CJ and I post makeup videos here on YouTube, which is what you are so kindly watching right now. And there is my dog Gizmo. Hey buddy. Uh, anyway, so today I'm going to be doing a quick little first impressions thing with some new makeup to me. I don't think any of these products are actually new on the market, but I went shopping with my mom yesterday and got like a couple of cheap things from TJ Maxx. And then I've also got this stuff from a BoxyCharm pop-up. And then I went to Walgreens earlier and just grabbed a couple of NYX brow products. So I just wanted to come and use them on camera. Just why not? So the products that I'm going to be testing out in this video are, uh, as I said, this Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Um, I got these two brow products from NYX. It's the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And then the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I've been wanting to try one of these little pins for ages now. And I looked for the Milani one because I know Taylor Wynn raves about that one. But they didn't have it. So I got this one. And then I also got from TJ Maxx for $7.99 the Milk Makeup Kush Lash Primer. It's the extra high volume one. And then I also got, which this isn't a first impression, I've used this mascara a million times, but my two that I normally use are like dried out. So I figured I would grab this because it was on sale. It's just the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Mascara. I know I love this, so I figured it would be a good test to use with this because I have never used this before. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, because the first thing I'm going to use is that setting powder. I'm going to go off camera really quick and apply my foundation and everything and then I will come back and use that powder. So be right back. Hey guys. Okay. So um, all I have on now is a foundation and concealer, which everything that I use, I will link, uh, link in the description box down below. If it's an Amazon link, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you it is an affiliate link. I'm pretty sure anyone in the world can have an Amazon affiliate link, but it does mean that if you click my link and purchase that product, I will get kicked back like a couple of cents, maybe a dollar if it's like a high end thing, probably not. But just letting you know that the Amazon links down there, which I always say in the description box, but they are affiliates. But everything that I am wearing will be linked in the description box down below if I do not mention it in the video and also even if I do mention it in the video. So anyway, the first thing we're going to try is this um, Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. I love Beauty Bakery. They are the cutest little brand. They're a black woman owned brand and their whole aesthetic is like baking in the kitchen. So we got a big like egg carton of their sponge, like their makeup sponges in a boxy charm. And that is the happiest I have been probably in a very long time, which I know is so sad, but it's true. I don't know. Just everything is very baker centric. It's super, super cute. I love the aesthetic of it all, the creativity that goes into it. So I just kind of want to shout that out. But um, as I said, it is a setting powder. It is an oat translucent. And yeah, I just want to use it and see if it works. All right. So I just, I sorry, I took the little sifter off thing. Okay. So I do like that it comes with, let me turn it. Okay, so it comes with two sides. One has the holes, one is th uh, solid or whatever. So you can turn it and sift it. So I'm just going to tap some out into the cap. <gasps> oh, y'all, it just fell everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no, y'all, it just fell. Look. Oh, that just, y'all, that is, I don't know if you know the damage, but like literally like half the container of powder just came out onto my desk, onto my laptop. Okay. I'm going to worry about cleaning up the entirety of that later. I'm honestly, I'm probably going to use some of this one, like some of the powder that fell onto my laptop just so not to waste product. Uh, but anyway, not off to a good start at all, but it could just be faulty packaging or it could just be, I was... I don't think it was that I was hitting it too hard because let's be honest, I have the upper arm strength of like a noodle, like angel hair noodle, not even like Panay, like angel hair. So I don't think it was that I was hitting it too hard, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to use my brush and I'm literally going to tap into the powder that fell onto my laptop because it'll help me clean. And um, let me zoom you in. Okay, definitely translucent. I don't see any color payoff or anything, but it's definitely 
which it should be because it is a powder. It's definitely mattifying the concealer and the foundation, which the concealer and foundation I used are both like very hydrating. It looks a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie, especially around my nose. Like usually I don't get breaking like that until like kind of midday. And then I do powder the entirety of my face. I use that little pinpointed brush on like my under eyes and like the areas that really, really need like to be firmly set. But for the rest of my face, I just lightly dust it with this big brush. Okay, so um, upon first impression, I do like it. It is very, very mattifying, but it does, well, my skin honestly still feels a little sticky, but as I, I did use like a very hydrating base, so that might be why. But I don't really mind how it looks. It reminds me a lot of how my Maybelline Fit Me kind of first applies. The Fit Me, it kind of applies heavily, but after like a couple of minutes, it kind of dries down. Uh, I mean, not dries down, but like kind of works itself into the skin. It doesn't look quite so crazy. So maybe that's how this will be. I am going to add a little bit more right here because I can already kind of feel it picking up. Okay, so now that that's on, um, I'm going to go off camera and I will do my, I'll do my eyes except for like mascara and all that stuff. I'll do my eyes and the rest of my face and then I'll be back to use the rest of the products. Bye. Hey guys. Okay, so real quick, I do want to kind of give a shout out to what's on my eyes because I did, I got it from my last BoxyCharm, my October one. But by the time I got around to filming that video, which I did film it, I didn't have time to edit it and then post it still in October. So unfortunately, I'm not going to post it. But, and it was like one of my favorite boxes of all time, no lie. And I did want to shout out this little palette. It's by uh, Tre Luce. It's their I Am Alma palette. Alma, Alma, I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of basic, I will say. But these three have become an every single day staple for me. Um, that's exactly what I have on my eyes right now. I did just delete the video footage uh, from that video. But in that video, I did use this green and this green shimmer was stunning, worked beautifully, great. Yeah, this, uh, this, and then we also got some makeup or some eye brushes by them. If you can see all the setting powder that got on them. Um, but these are also impeccable. They're more natural of a hair and I just find that they blend much better than like really, really soft hairs. They kind of remind me of Morphe brushes, but actually decent quality. Morphe brushes, the ones that I've tried have natural hair, but they shed like an insane person. So these have not shed once and I love them and they blend absolutely beautifully. So uh, check out this brand if you want to. Tre Luce. Really cool. Anyway, oh, and then I do have, it's not from that palette. It's from the this Natasha Denona palette. It's their Peak 5 uh, eyeshadow palette. I just have this little shimmer on my lid. In case you were curious what I had on my eyes. Now, you know. Okay, so I think first I want to do the eyebrows, which is what I'm super, super nervous about doing because it is the little pin thing. So as I said, I've been wanting to use one of these pins for weeks, months even, and I just, I was kind of looking for the Milani one because as I said, Taylor Wynn raves about it, but I just couldn't find it. And I went to the store today and I really wanted and needed to film a video today. So I saw this one and NYX truly doesn't like really let me down. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to try it. If I can open it. All right. So as I said, this is their uh, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's a micro brush tip for hair like strokes. I got the shade Ash Brown. It just says usage shake pin at a downward angle, fill in sparse areas and with precise hair like strokes and add definition to other brow areas. So I'm really excited to try this. I have not honestly been filling my eyes brows in for work because I just don't care. Um, but I have, just, I've always wanted to use one of these things because I know like Kathleen Lights uses them and just people that use them it looks so natural and beautiful and I just love it so much. So um, I'm going to shut up. Actually, I already did this, but I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm going to fill, or I'm not gonna, I'm going to brush my eyebrows kind of how I usually do. That way I have like a little bit of a shape to follow. Okay, and then I'm gonna zoom you in. No, I don't think you understand how nervous I am. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's a very, very, very tiny little brush tip, which makes me feel, which makes me feel a little bit more confident because the tinier, the less room for air. So I know I'm gonna start kind of at the front.
Okay. Kind of like it. I think I went a little too sharp right here, but I feel like once I rebrush the brow hairs upward, my natural ones, and brush them upward and then put on that little, the clear brow gel thing, I think it'll be fine. That's definitely really interesting though. It's a lot easier and a little bit more like natural feeling than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to really struggle because I'm horrible at like drawing everything like that. So I thought I was going to struggle a lot more at getting the lines right. But as long as you don't do like, you can't do like long strokes or anything. It's like little hairs. You just kind of flick it up and down. But um, I really like it. It gives you a lot of margin for air because it's not like super um, intensely pigmented or anything. Oh, I love that. Oh, that looks so good. It does look so much. Oh, I this is my good brow if you can't tell. It's so easy, so nice. This one's kind of a bitch, but Okay, I actually really, really, really like that. Um, as I was saying, um, it's not super intensely pigmented, which I think is a good thing because if it was too pigmented, you would be able to mess up a lot easier. This one, it gives you a little leeway. It's a lot more forgiving. The brush is perfect. Super thin, super flimsy. So it doesn't like give you that super defined like straight line because no one's brow hairs are like straight and defined. They kink, they move, they curl, they bend. I am going to brush these hairs up a little bit. Oh my God, look how good that looks. Oh, I love this. Oh, yay. Thank God. I love it. They're ba I know they're thick and very natural and kind of like bushy, but I just, I love that look so much. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know why I love it so much. I love like thicker, bigger brows, especially on me because it does, my face is very round and fleshy. <laughs> so like any shape and arch and definition that I can have to my face is welcome and I love it. So bigger and more natural brows do that. And I honestly think that this is, will be quicker for me than using a brow pencil because a brow pencil you have to kind of fill in and you have to do the brush to like kind of blend it out and all that this one you don't really kind of have to do that you just do the brush which was really really quick it didn't dry out at all and yeah I love it I love it I think it looks great this one obviously looks much better than this one I don't know I can never get this brow to look great all right so now what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go into the NYX control freak eyebrow gel it's in clear there was another brow gel that I wanted more, but it was expensive. It was like $11 from them. I don't honestly know how much I paid for this one. It could have been just as much if I'm being completely honest. But I figured, you know, I haven't been doing like heavy brows recently if I've been doing brows at all, just because I've been doing like actual 10 minute makeup, which I think that might be my next video or coming in the very near future. I have completely changed how I do my everyday office job makeup just because my commute is so much longer and I do have to leave so much earlier. So I don't have that much time to get ready anymore. Um, so if you are at all interested, I mean, I'm going to film it regardless, but if you are at all interested in seeing like my actual new 10 minute makeup routine for like all day office wear, let me know down below. But anyway, so this is the NYX Control, I already said this, the eyebrow gel, it's the clear one. And um, I've just been doing soap brows, but not filling them in. I'll just spray a thing of soap, brush them up so that they stay in place and that's it. And I figured this will save me a step. Oh my God, that brush is ginormous who uses a brush that big for their brows okay i already don't love that okay very thin which i like and i do actually really like how that laid kind of oh my god y'all that brow looks so good i'm sorry i may i'm not but i love that oh my goodness okay Okay, I like this too. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much because the brush is so big, but I guess because it is clear, it doesn't really matter because it's not gonna like put color everywhere. But I really like how that brushed everything through. I do think it got rid of some of that really heavy pigmentation that was up there. It just kind of laid flat. It's a little cold. It kind of just feels like I'm putting hairspray on, but it's not thick at all. It, honestly, it feels like a hairspray is a spray, so it's a little thicker than that, but that's kind of what it feels like. I like that a lot. I am loving my brows though. Don't tell me they don't look good because you're a liar. 
and that's not nice. All right, so next we're going to do eyelashes. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, even though I do have to go somewhere later, I'm just seeing my family. What I am going to do is I'm going to use the mascara that I got, the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I said earlier. I've used this a bajillion times over. I absolutely, it's not my holy grail, but it's very close. I'm going to use just that on one side and then do this underneath just so we can actually see if it makes a difference. But as I said earlier, this is the Kush Lash Primer. It's the extra high volume. Boom. That's what it says. It says high volume, naturally lit, puff puff prime. Thickening heart shaped fibers, prime with a layer of weightless volume to take your lashes even higher. Hemp derived cannabis oil conditions for healthier looking lashes in one hit. My lashes need that. A uh, cone shaped spiral brush defines, separates, and coats coats each lash with a white plumping formula for major volume. Okay, so it's a white primer, which is, that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, I will say my favorite mascara primer that I've ever used was one by Blink. It is pretty pricey though, so I have not repurchased it, but I did love it because that was literally the only thing that would keep my eyelashes curled all day. This one, it's normally, I, I got it at TJ Maxx. Did I just, okay. I got it at TJ Maxx. It says compare at $13, but I got it for eight. So if I can use this and it keeps a curl, I will be a very happy lady because that is the only thing that makes me feel good about my makeup all day, every day, you know, like at an office is if my eyelashes stay curled because you go to all that work to put like mascara on, but if they're just like straight ahead, it, it doesn't matter, you know? All right. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to curl my lashes. So I do. I love that Natasha Denona eyelid color, but oh my God, it crumb like it gets everywhere and I use like the NYX glitter primer and everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the primer on this eye. This eye is my bitch eye. I hate it so much. This one typically stays curled a lot better than this one does and it looks better and thicker when I put mascara on. I don't know what the issue is. This eye just hates me. It's really inconvenient. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the primer on this eye because I think it will make the biggest difference. So comes out like this. It's got like the little twirlies on there. It's rubber bristles, which I like, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but whatever. It is white, so we'll see how that works. Okay, immediately I will say it goes on very, very easy. It's not one of those ones that you kind of have to build up. It's kind of thick, but it's like wet you know so it goes on very easy but you can kind of see where it is so I do like that all right and then I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Lash Sensational and if you've never seen it it's a rubber brush it's a bent rubber brush very like they're the little prongy things aren't very long but y'all I'm telling you I love this mascara so much all right so immediately I can tell you that I know this the primer thickens because one of the reasons I love this mascara so much is because it's a very lengthening mascara, but I remember it not being that thickening, which never typically bothered me that much. But now with that primer, they do look thicker. I will say I'm not seeing much of a curl involved. I will maybe try and recurl my eyelashes once they're completely dry, which I do typically do. I am going to put a second coat of mascara on just because that's, you know, obviously it's very normal for me. Sorry guys. I got a phone interview. I'm just going to say real quick side note. Okay. I know those little calls with all the surveys, like political surveys and stuff about like your local and all that kind of like your local politics and schools and stuff like that. Just do the freaking survey. If you're able to do it, I had to call and do like conduct those surveys in college and you will not, you cannot imagine the meanness that comes off of people when you just ask to do a survey. So if you can do a survey, do it. Okay. And answer honestly, it's fun, honestly. Anyway. All right. So that's just one coat of this mascara. I'm going to put on another one and I'm going to have to resume you in because I just did a 15 minute survey. Actually, it wasn't that long. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more coat on. Okay. I love how my lashes look. I really, really do. The only thing I'm concerned about is the curling of them because that's honestly like my main concern when it comes to primers. If I'm going to take the extra step to put on a primer, I want it to handle my most needed task and that's keeping my eyelashes curled. So 
I am going to let it dry and then, uh, you know, recurl it very carefully. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just apply this by itself on these lashes so that we can see if there's a difference or not. Okay, so here are these lashes done and these lashes done. Being completely honest, I don't see much of a difference. I will say these are my good eyelashes. They usually always look better. So the fact that these look kind of equal, that could mean something, okay? But again, as I said, the curling factor is going to be major. So I'm going to go off camera for a little bit. Usually if you recurl, like second curl your lashes, you want to wait like 10, 15 minutes uh, in between. So I'm going to do that and then I will come back and let you know and then give you my final review of all of the products. So see ya. Hey guys. All right. So it's been about 15 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and double curl my lashes. I've said this before on a lot of my videos, but you should be watching my videos, dude. They're really fun. Okay. Just saying. But anyway, um, make sure that your little thingy is like clean. It doesn't have any gunk on it before you double curl because that's kind of what can rip eyelashes out is if like they grip onto something on the eyelash curler itself. And then I always kind of like to, once I've curled them again, like hold them kind of this way with my fingers and like kind of push it. That way there's a little curlage to them. Okay, I will say they already look much more curled than they typically would with my normal double curl mascara method. They definitely already look much more curled. The question is if they're gonna stay that way. All right, so for my final thoughts of everything, I'll get through this really quick. First of all, setting powder. <sighs> Y'all, I don't think you understand the extent of damage that was done. I mean, it's still like all in there. I probably have half the amount of powder left, like just from closing it. I got all that on my hand. So do I think I got my, well, actually, okay. I will say I did get that from my BoxyCharm pop-up. So I did not pay full price for that. I think I paid maybe like three or $4 for it, which is why part of the reason I love BoxyCharm so much is that I do get to do the BoxyCharm pop-up thing. I will say though, I actually, now that it's been on my skin a little bit longer and has had time to kind of like cook, I guess. I love this powder. I really, really do. The true test will be obviously wearing it for the entirety of a day. What else? Oh, eyebrow stuff. I'm immediately obsessed with. I love, oh my goodness, an eyelash just fell out. Okay. Uh, anyway, eyebrows, love, love. I love how my eyebrows look right now. They look natural and feathered not anything heavy, but they feel like they're going to stay in place. This little control freak thing, the clear brow gel, love it. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't look thick. There's no like shine on top of my brows to show that there is like a product there, which I really, really appreciate. Typically with stuff like this, you do see like that little bit of a gleam, a shine, and you're like, oh, they're wearing something. This, I do not see that. The little brow pencil, I adore. I do love how it worked. That was so easy. I don't know how others perform because I've never tried a product like that before, but I do love that that one was so easy and so it felt so natural and so like, it didn't feel like a huge uptaking, you know, like you're putting marker on your eyebrows. That should scare the shit out of you. Okay. It did until I started using it. I'm like, oh, this is actually really easy. You know what I mean? So I love that. Very excited to keep using it and maybe try others and see how it stacks up. But I have no issues with it whatsoever at all. I love how my brows look right now. I'm kind of obsessed. So that and then, um, okay, this little mascara primer, again, it's really going to take wearing it for me to give my final, final opinion. But I will say right now, looking at my lashes in the mirror, these lashes never look on par with these. These are horrible, okay? They're the runt of the litter, the litter being just two, but still they're the runt, and they never look curled, long, thick. They don't look anything like these ever. These are my, this is my good side, okay? This is not, no. But these now with the primer on look on par to these. So 
I'm excited to see. Again, it comes down to where. So I will update you. I will come back. Hey guys. Okay. So it is a couple days later and I figured I would check in really quick and give you my kind of final thoughts on everything, specifically being the powder. So when I left you last time, the powder I had good feelings about and everything, but after Sunday, wearing it Sunday and then wearing it again today just for a few short hours, um, I do not like the powder. It is a very cakey. It separates like that. And I did not do anything different with my makeup. I went in like I normally do. I didn't put any setting spray on top or anything. And I'll put a picture up right here. I did my makeup Sunday at like 10 or so because we we're going out on a boat with my mom and her boyfriend. And um, when I got in the car to do my mascara, because obviously, you know, I could do that while he was, my boyfriend was driving us there. I saw how horrific this region of my face looked. And I'm telling you, the powder had been on maybe an hour. An hour tops, that's it. And it looked like that. It didn't look like that in my room with my light and everything, not that I noticed. But I'm telling you, the, you know, your mirror in a car is so unforgiving. And thank God for that too, because now I know, hey, I don't like this powder. It doesn't work well. And then today, it's, only 11 a.m. Um, I went to work today like normal, but the power was out, so we got sent home. But I was like, okay, I'm going to give the powder one more shot. And I put it on around like 7 a.m. this morning. And I don't know if you can see in the... Ignore the zits. I know, I'm breaking out. But I don't know if you can tell how awful it already looks. And yes, I do have to wear a mask at work, but not when I'm in my office in the dark. And that was the entirety of my experience at work today. I maybe had my mask on two times at most. So I don't like this powder. I don't think it works very well. I think when oils start getting involved, which is usually my chin and my nose, which the nose, I'm gonna give it credit just because of the mask. And I know that like actually sits on it, but the mask doesn't sit on my chin. You know, it's kind of over it and goes under. So I don't like the powder. On the other hand, the uh, mascara primer, love. I don't think it makes, I don't know. I think it makes a pretty big difference. I'm wearing it today. I wore it the other day. It definitely doesn't make your mascara any more like long wearing or hardcore. As I said, we were on a boat and I was stupid and didn't wear waterproof mascara. Also, I don't have any waterproof mascara. But you know, when we got out of the car, you know, because of the boat and the wind and stuff, you have like tears coming down. So it did smudge a little bit, but it wasn't anything worse than it would normally be. But I do really, really like the primer. Um, I like how it makes my lashes look a lot. I don't think it really helps them stay curled because I did. I mean, they look a little bit more curled in the camera than they do in my mirror. Um, but I don't think it makes that huge of a difference, but I do, it definitely makes a difference when it comes to the thickness of the lashes. So I really do appreciate that. And then the star of the show is obviously the eyebrow products. I am absolutely obsessed. I honestly used it today and was able to do the brow flick pen and the uh, gel in like two minutes. Um, it looks so much more natural than using a pencil because you can get just normal lines. And there's only a few areas in my brows that really need a little bit of color. But when you go into with the pencil, it kind of smudges it out. And so then you have to like balance it out. This one, you can just give yourself a few more hair strokes in the spots where you truly, truly need it. Go in with that gel, which is, oh my gosh, that gel is so quick and so easy, but it holds. Oh my goodness. So I am in love with those so much. So primer, great. Brow stuff, great. Powder, not so much. I'm so sorry, Beauty Bakery. I love your branding, but that powder is not great. So I will go back to me before this video and tell you bye. So bye. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I did want to point out, okay, another thing I got at TJ Maxx, which I did, I wanted to ask you if y'all would at at all be interested in this video but I got a little thing of face razors these are by Ardell I've been using ones by L'Oreal I think oh by Revlon my bad I've been using these but I do shave my face I don't know if that's like crazy to you I know a lot of people here on YouTube do it but I think like in the real world people who don't watch YouTube a lot don't typically shave their face um but I do and I don't do it often but I do do it 
And I did get these and I was wondering if y'all, you would at all be interested in seeing how I shaved my face, why I shaved my face, the benefits of it, all that kind of stuff. So if you are at all interested, please just leave a comment down below. That'd be really cool. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I know it's not like that exciting, new, crazy of stuff, but it's just stuff like I'm not a beauty guru. You know what I mean? I'm just like a normal person. I don't have that much money to spend on makeup, but like it was just stuff I was really excited to try and I felt, felt like why not share it and try it with people who want to watch the video. You know what I mean? I thought that'd be fun. So you're welcome. And thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe and comment if you want to. Okay. Bye.